So I don't really know Taron Egerton. I don't think I've seen any of his movies or he's seen any of his interviews. And I think this is just a mistake. You know, people make mistakes. And I'm going to call this out for one particular reason. That's because it could be a precedent that's set by these actors. And I just want to explain the situation. What it is that Taron Egerton is going to play Elton John in a movie. I think it's out next month. And Taron Egerton has done an interview with a gay magazine. That has a, a large point to this topic that is to do with a gay magazine called Attitude. And Taron Egerton has said, but I can completely understand why a gay actor would feel that this is an opportunity for which they were better suited. That's ridiculous. That is nonsense. The gay actor, he may not look anything like Elton John at any point in Elton John's life. He might be different facial features, different different hair colour, yet somehow the gay actor is better suited. You've seen it with disabled actors recently, that but ably bodied man is, is now not able to play the role of a disabled person. It's just ridiculous. These professional actors playing roles, just because he's straight, doesn't mean to say he can't play a gay actor. And what they're saying is, that let's say they want to, in this example, they want to make a movie based on Elton John. Are they saying that the casting director has to go out and find an actor who's a good actor, who's the right age, the right build, the right shape, can potentially sing, and is also gay. Is that what they're expecting a casting director to be able to do? What it would do, it would cut the potential range of actors they can employ by perhaps 95% or even more, because all the straight actors are then removed and they have to go and find a gay actor. But also, what about the gay actors that don't want to come out as gay? So you might have an actor who is gay, but he doesn't want to come out as gay, he doesn't want his sexuality to be broadcast or to be an issue based on his career. So what about those gay actors? Does that mean they can't be Elton John as well because they don't want their sexuality to influence how they become an actor? So then again, it's just not selecting people based on their private lives or their sexuality is not the answer because it will still exclude people who are gay but they don't want to use their sexuality to help them to get film roles. It's just ridiculous. These people do not think you employ the right person for the job and if Taron Egerton, regardless of his sexuality, is the right man for the job, then fine. In this interview, it does say that he's straight. If he was gay, I would not be concerned. What of his personal life or his sexuality? That shouldn't influence whether he's right to play the role. Now, just looking at it, on the surface, he does look very similar. He's got that same height. You can imagine Elton John looking like Taron Egerton in his youth. So, what's the issue? If Taron Egerton has the ability to act as Elton John and to potentially sing and to look like he can play the piano, look like he can play musical instruments then what's the issue just because he's not gay are you saying that he can't play the role of a gay person and in this interview Taron Egerton and like I said a lot of it is because it's to do with a gay magazine he's trying to pander to the audience of this gay magazine and that's the mistake he shouldn't have had anything to do with it he should have been honest or he should have said that I'm the right person for this role my sexuality should have nothing to do with it I'm a professional actor I'm being paid to do a job but what I'm also going to point out is how stupid and vapid all these discussions are and go back to 1993 with Philadelphia. Now this is Tom Hanks and he played the role of a gay man. He had HIV and AIDS and it was a really tremendous role and Tom Hanks won an Oscar. The movie was hugely successful, made a lot of money and I think, I'm not sure, but it looks like Tom Hanks went for a real ordeal. You know, he slimmed down, he lost a lot of weight, really done a really dramatic role and put a lot of energy into it. You can see here the sort of lengths he went to. So in the future, if they want to remake this movie, or if they want to make the movie a movie based on a gay man who's dying of AIDS, are they saying that they need to go out and find an actor who's gay, has HIV, has AIDS, and is dying over those diseases? Is that what they're saying? They're pandering to stupidity. And based on what they're saying, that means that Tom Hanks shouldn't have taken on this role, and he has to give his Oscar back. They don't think about what the repercussions of this social justice are nonsense is you have the right man for the right role tom hanks in 1993 was the right man he put his body through a lot of exertion and he won an oscar for it again taron egerton he looks like the right role for elton john regardless of his sexuality he should play that role and if he goes on to win an oscar fine or if he doesn't then fine these people don't think that does that mean that tom hanks has to get his oscar back because he wasn't gay and he didn't have hiv and did aids and he didn't die it's, they don't think about what they're doing they have no idea about the actual repercussions of this social justice nonsense. It's just pandering. And Taron Egerton is making a real mistake in this interview of actually pandering to the audience of this gay magazine. He should have just said, I got this job because I'm the best actor. End of. If you don't like it, tough.